that arc of 270 degrees, which is right here, would be a major arc. So minor arc has a measure less than 180. Major arc has a measure that's greater than 180. And a semicircle is an arc that is equal to 180. Alright, here's an example. I want you to find the measure of each arc in circle A, where CB is the diameter. And in this example, we're going to talk about how to name arcs as well. So go ahead, if you want to, take, your, take a time to work it out on your own, and resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Right, first things first, I want to label all my angles. I know this one is 110. And then, since this is a line, that means it totals 180. So angle CAD here must be 70 degrees. And that means that this angle right here is 180 degrees. That tells me that my arcs are 110 degrees, 70 degrees, and 180 degrees. The way we label arcs is we use this little arc symbol above and then letters below. This reads as arc BD. Now notice there is two ways to go from B to D. We could go from B to D clockwise or B to D counterclockwise. Whenever we only have two letters, we always assume it's talking about the smaller of the two arcs. So B to D is this orange arc here, in which case B to D is 110 degrees. C D is going to be 70 degrees. And B C is 180 degrees. Notice there are some other arcs we could talk about as well. We have arc BD going the other way. But in order to show that we're using that bigger arc, we're going to give this three letters, B, C, D. That tells us that we go to B to D by passing through point C. We could have also written this as arc D, C, B. This whole arc is going to be 70 plus 180. So we see that this is going to be 250 degrees. This means we could also look at arc BDC. Whoa. Not quite sure what happened here. We look at arc BDC. That's going from B to C by passing through D. We could also name that arc CDB. And this is going to be 70 plus 110, which is 180. So these arcs above could also have gotten different names. They could have been arc uh, DB, arc DC, and arc CB. So in general, if you only see two letters for the arc name, that means you're dealing with either a minor arc or a semicircle. If you see three letters, you've got to really look to see where the arc is going, because it could be a minor arc, a major arc, or a semicircle. All right, this leads us to postulate 23, the arc addition postulate. And we saw this above when looking at these arcs down here. The arc addition postulate tells us that the measure of an arc formed by two adjacent arcs is the sum of the measures of the two arcs. So here, as we saw above, arc BCD, arc BCD is formed by arc CD plus arc CB, 70 plus 180. 